Welcome to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast, where we share tips, techniques, and true stories to support you in using the law of attraction and alchemy to create magic and live the life of your dreams. Here's your host, the founder of DailyAlchemy.com, Michelle Martin Dobbins. Hi, it's Michelle Martin Dobbins with DailyAlchemy.com. And today I want to talk to you about sticking your neck out. Do you ever get scared about putting yourself out there, showing your true self, being who you really are, and being judged for that? One little secret, you're being judged for whatever you're doing anyway. So if you're being something less than who you really are, you're being judged for something that you aren't even that thing. So I guess you know, I'm going to encourage you to stick your neck out there and be yourself and be true to you. But I do want to be honest and share with you that that's not always the easiest thing for me. I recently went home over the holidays visiting with my family. My family is very supportive, but also has very different beliefs than I do. And sometimes, you know, they say things that make me pause. And my mother and I were having a discussion. And she had mentioned Bruce Jenner, um, Caitlyn Jenner, and that she didn't understand why she was considered brave. And I said, well, gosh, she had to stick her neck out there and, and she knew she was going to be criticized, you know, but being a celebrity, being in that public view, you, you're going to be criticized anyway. But th- I mean, that's, that's opening up to a whole nother level of crazy criticism from people just for being who she was, following her heart. So, you know, and my mother replied, well, when you put yourself out there, you have to expect that you are going to be criticized. People are going to attack you. And like, I just did a big lump because, you know, in a very small way, I put myself out there. I share who I am. And It is sometimes scary and sometimes people say things that hurt my feelings and I have gotten a whole lot better about focusing back and just letting go of that. But I decided that that's a story that I don't want to accept and you don't need to accept it either. I mean, that's that's not reality that you stick yourself out there and you should expect to be attacked. How about we do this together? Let's come up with a different story. How about you put yourself out there and you expect to be supported? You put yourself out there and you know that you're going to find other people who totally get you and you're going to connect and life is going to be good. How about that story? I like that one so much better than expecting to be attacked if I put myself out in the world. But it's good. It's good to remember that these stories are out there because when we get nervous about being who we are, We can remember, hey, that's an old story. It runs through our culture, but I'm choosing not to believe it. I'm choosing to create a new story. So yeah, remember that you can create any story you want to. And you know, for myself, I think I shared in a recent podcast that my word for 2016 is allow. And I'm allowing myself to be who I am and not to hide that. And I'm allowing myself to let others choose how they feel about that. I don't need to make anybody like me. The right people are going to be attracted to me, just like they're going to be attracted to you when you are you. I know I put myself out there on my website and my blog and a lot of different places, but I live in a very conservative area of the United States. Over here, it's called the Bible Belt. (laughs) And a lot of people are very conservative Christians. And my viewpoint is not something that they can accept, which is fine. I feel that in a lot of ways, I'm more spiritually connected than a lot of the people I come around who cannot accept my spiritual beliefs. And that's fine. But I have taken to hiding them. (laughs) I know when I send personal emails, emails to local people, emails to people at the kids' schools, emails to people who we work with locally, I go in and take out my signature that has the links back to my website. And I was thinking about that the other day, and I was like, why am I doing that? I'm doing that because I believe that that person would not appreciate who I really am. And 
I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to allow people to see who I really am. And truth be told, most of them probably aren't going to click on it or even notice it or care at all. And if they did and it's a problem for them, it's a problem for them. It's not a problem for me. So I encourage you too to stick your neck out and create a new story about sticking your neck out and how wonderful things happen when you stick your neck out and when you are you. Because you are unique, you are wonderful, you have a special quality resonance that is all your own, and you are important in this world. So don't forget that. Love yourself. Let yourself be who you are. And I hope that you have a wonderful day being you. And I would love to hear any comments that you may have or suggestions for the podcast. You can find me at dailyalchemy.com. Up in the right-hand corner of that website, there are links to my email and all my social media channels. So I will talk to you next time. Namaste. Thanks for listening to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast. Connect with me on the dailyalchemy.com or Facebook at facebook.com slash Michelle Dobbins author. Join us next time for even more magical life tips.